Hello people, Sunny here from Creo and today I'm going to show you how to use the Creo Icarus software. So once you install the software, you will get this window and to get into the main settings, you just have to click on this mouse image. So after that, the software loads all of your settings. So you just have to wait for a few seconds. So in the software, there are four main tabs where you can change all of your settings. First is for your buttons. Second is for DPI and other performance settings. Third is for creating or editing any kind of macros. And fourth is for changing any kind of additional window settings. So the first option that you get is for configs. These are like profiles and you can save up to four different kinds of profile. For example, the profile number three can be for my windows use and the profile one can be for my game use. So now there are five different buttons that you can configure and uh, all of them are marked here. So for example, let's say I want to change the number four button, which is right now for set as the forward button I want to change it to a DPI plus button so when I click on the forward button I will get an option for DPI switch and let's see DPI plus as my option so now my number four button is set as a DPI plus button so now let's change the number five button to my DPI minus button so click on the number five select the option and go to DPI switch DPI minus and you just change your button so similarly you can configure all the three buttons now let's say you made a mistake and you want to reset all the default settings of this particular configuration you just have to click on this restore button and this will ask you to confirm it and just press ok and this will reset all your default settings for this configuration you can actually export these options and use it on some other pc so let's save this file in my documents tab and let's say name it something and it's done so you can import the same file from here as well so there's one more setting you can find in the buttons option and that's a debounce time now usually debounce time is used for preventing double click issues but because the Creo Icarus is using optical switches you can actually set it to a very low number which is zero millisecond this will give you a warning but you can ignore it and just press ok so by default it's set to 8 ms but i would recommend setting it to 1 ms or 0 ms so now let's move to the second window which is about the dpi settings and as you can see there are multiple settings here and for First setting is about your DPI stages. So the number of DPI stages is basically how many levels of DPI you want to cycle between. So you can actually change the DPI level by clicking the button below the Icarus. Uh, that will change all the settings. For example, if I click the button right now, it is cycling between all different DPI levels. So now let's say I don't actually want so many DPI levels. I just want maybe two for my Windows use and my for game use. I can set it to two. So for example, right now I have two settings, 800 and 1200. I can just click on the DPI number to select the setting. Now you can change the DPI value just by sliding on this slide. You can slide right for more DPI, left for less DPI and you can ch actually change the DPI levels in an increment of 50 which is possible because the Icarus is using a Pixar 3395 sensor. So you can have a lot of precision while changing the DPI. You can also change the color of the DPI indication. All you have to do is click on this color tab and you will get all different kind of options. So let's say we will go with green for this one or let's say go for purple with this one and just click OK. So now whenever you change to this 900 DPI, your light will show up a purple color. The second option is report rate or polling rate. So there are multiple options here starting at 125 Hertz and reaching a very fast 4000 Hertz. Now this 4000 Hertz or the 2000 Hertz option is available only for wireless use. With the wired mode, you are only limited to 1000 Hertz. By default, the Icarus comes at 1000 Hertz. But if you are okay with losing some battery performance, but for better polling rate, you can change it to 2000 Hertz or 4000 Hertz. So for the timing, let's set it to 1000 Hertz and explore more options. So in the sensor setting, you get basically uh, multiple controls related to your sensor. So by default, the mouse operates in low power mode, which actually helps in battery life, getting more battery life. In this mode, the sensor tracking speed is slightly reduced, but it's still very fast. Uh, if you want the maximum stability, you can just set it to high performance mode. The second option is for lift off distance. You can set at what height setting the sensor track uh, stops tracking completely. So we have two options, one millimeter and two millimeter. My recommendation would be if you are using a very good quality mouse pad, set it to one millimeter. So the third option is for peak performance. So when you enable the peak performance option, your mouse will not go into sleep setting for this particular time period. For most people, I would recommend to keep this setting turned off because this will definitely consume more power. And because Icarus is already using a very good quality chipset, you actually don't need it for most of the time. Uh, now there are three more settings here which you can change. First is ripple control. And ripple control is used when you are using a very high DPI mode. For example, let's say upwards of 6400 DPI, 10,000 DPI, 12,000 DPI. So if you are using anything more than 6400 DPI, I would recommend to turn it on. But if you are using anything less than that, I would recommend to keep it turned off. So the second option is angle snapping. When you enable the angle snapping option, your mouse cursor will actually move in more straight lines than usual. As you can see, here's an image with and without angle snapping and it helps a lot when you're using your mouse to draw straight lines. For example, for some editing programs or let's say some paint programs. But for gaming use, I would suggest you to keep the setting turned off. Now third is the motion sync option which is enabled by default and this is a very nice setting to have and this is possible 
possible because of the Pixar 3395 sensor. And I would recommend you to keep it enabled because it helps you smooth your cursor movement and it also reduces jitter in your uh, low DPI modes or high DPI modes. Now the last option in this tab is the DPI light effects option. By default, the Icarus does not show the DPI indication lights at the top. You can only see it at the bottom. To enable the top light, you just have to click on fixed light or flicker light. You can choose whichever option suits you. I usually keep it at around 2 because that's bright enough and the color that you choose at the top for your DPI will be indicated by the top light. So now let's move to the third tab which is the macro tab. Here you can create multiple kind of macros and you can assign it save macros. So let's start with a very basic macro. Let's click on new macro. Let's name it new macro and confirm. Now select the macro and click on start recording. Let's say we want to create a macro for control shift and F. So I have pressed these buttons, Control Shift and F, and I will now press Stop Recording. These are the settings on how the macro should behave when you click on the button. Now how you can use this macro is by assigning it to a button. Let's say for example, I want to assign that macro button to number 5. I go to Back button and select Macro at the bottom and select New. So now my 5 button, my back button will act as a macro button. So now let's move to the last tab and here you have some additional settings. For example, th there's the pairing tool. Now this pairing tool is useful for example when you want to change dongle for some any reason maybe the dongle has gone bad or you are replacing the dongle or you are switching to a new dongle for any reason. After that you will get the sleep mode option so this determines how quickly the mouse goes to sleep after you leave the mouse unattended. So you can change it from 10 seconds to upwards of 40 minutes. So you also have the option of run on system boot it means when you turn on your system the Icarus software will start alongside your windows at the last is an advanced setting which is a long distance mode now this setting is only useful if you have a very large distance between the receiver of your mouse and your actual mouse for example if it's more than two meters only then I would suggest you to enable this setting. For most people who are using a very normal setting distance, this setting should be turned off. So that's it from my side. If you have any questions, you can just leave it in the comments and our team will help you. Thank you.